Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Excel demo with Rich Kirk. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at the ifs function. That's if with an s. And this function is new for Excel 2016. So this function allows you to set up multiple tests of data within one function call. Uh, so in this scenario, I've got a numerical test score in cell A2 and I'd like to use my ifs function to produce the letter grade that corresponds to the number in cell A2. Now, prior to the existence of the ifs function, there might be a number of ways you would go about doing this, perhaps with a VLOOKUP, perhaps with a series of if functions nested inside one another. This is so much simpler and straightforward. Here's how it works. In cell B2, we'll start with equals ifs, open paren. And you can see from the helper, you put in your logical test, which in this case, I'm going to check to see if the score in A2 is at least 90 to give the grade of letter A. So we'll say our logical, logical test is A2, greater than or equal to 90, comma, <coughs> and my value of true is A. <coughs> Pardon me. So my next logical test, so comma, logical test number two would be if cell A2 is greater than or equal to 80, comma, then that letter grade would be B. Logical test three would be to see if A2 is greater than or equal to 70, resulting in a letter grade of C, so on and so forth. So we'll do A2 greater than or equal to 60, warrants a letter grade of D. And then of course, if A2 is less than 60, then the letter grade is F. That's it. There's a logical test, and then the value if true. We hit our enter key, and of course, there we are. The letter grade is A. If my uh, test score is 83, that's a B. 75, that's a C. Score 48 on the test, that's an F. 89, B. You got it. So that is the ifs function. Uh, hope you find it useful. Please check back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kirk. Have a productive day.